So what, what was it like to uh, win a couple NCAA titles? Uh, very exciting. You make it sound like I'm really old when you say pioneer, but uh, <laughs> I don't feel that far removed from, from what's going on on the basketball court today. But uh, playing basketball at Stanford was a great experience. Um, we, we were with some exceptionally motivated, uh, goal-oriented, very intelligent women and uh, had great focus and we were fortunate to be able to win two championships during that time. Well, obviously you're not far removed at all from women's basketball today, but you did play in the first season of the WNBA. And um, who did you play for? Well, I actually played, my first professional basketball was, was with the American Basketball League, the ABL. Okay. Um, so I started uh, with the Richmond Rage, which was a team out in Virginia. I played uh, for a season with them, and then I played for a season with a team called the Portland Power. And then... After those two years, I played with the Sacramento Monarchs in WNBA for a season. So it was a great experience. I mean, it was wonderful to have an opportunity to compete after college in the United States in a professional league. I think, you know, the women that are playing basketball in college now at a high level just have such a great opportunity uh, to be able to compete professionally, which is something that we had been striving for for a long time. Absolutely. Now, the Monarchs, are they still around? The Monarchs are not. They uh, This last year, they were dissolved. Um, their players were sent in dispersal drafts to other teams around the league. Uh, but they had been one of the original teams in the league, and they had been uh, up until last year in existence. Right, right. So when did you start your coaching career? Um, I coached off and on, actually, while I was playing. Um, I played in the professional, the ABL, which was during the winter season. I would come back, and I would, would actually help coach at Santa Rosa Junior College, which was near uh, where my husband and I were living. Um, I learned a great deal from the head coach there, Karen Frenchie. She'd been there for 33 years. Um, so I, I mentored under her and uh, had an opportunity when she retired to take over that coaching position at the JC. Um, from then, just just continued to have head coaching opportunities at various levels at Chico State and then ultimately here at UC Irvine. Absolutely. So um, what are your plans for UC Irvine's team? Uh, keep improving. You know, this is going into our third season. Uh, we really feel like this year we have pieces in place to help us be very, very competitive. Um, you know, we have a good mix of new kids, and freshman kids, transfers, uh, players who've been in the program two and three years now with me. And, um, really feel like we have an opportunity to compete very successfully in our conference this year. So, um, do you really think that you know being a player your whole life really helps you relate to your athletes as a coach? Is that a big part of um, your tools as a coach? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a prerequisite for coaches, but I certainly think that in my experience, it's been very helpful uh, in terms of you know, like you said, relating to the players on the court, understanding kind of what they're going through from a mental and physical perspective when they're trying to balance school and sports. Um, helping them to, to work through challenging situations, um, keeping practices competitive and keeping them engaged. I think all those things are, are real important, especially with this generation of, of student athlete, um, being able to find ways to keep them consistently engaged. Uh, so, yeah, I think my playing experience has definitely helped with that. Now, does your husband still coach as well? My husband, uh, Pat Fiscaldo, coaches a men's Division II team at Sonoma State University. He's going into his 17th year wow. with that program. Um, he's been, been kind of our home base and our foundation. When I, uh, you know, we have a, a home in Northern California, and when I play, we always come back, and, and he had his job there, and, and he's uh, hopefully going to have a very good year this year in the CCAA, a very competitive Division II conference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you travel back and forth to see each other. Your jobs are opposite yeah, ends jobs, of the state. Right. We're opposite ends of the state, but uh, we've, we've obviously been further apart um, when, we, when I played earlier in my playing career. So um, not an ideal situation, but it, it does help us to value the time that we have together, and we're both doing what we want to do, pursuing our goals. Absolutely. So. That's really great that you guys can make that work, because otherwise one of you would have to give it up, and right. obviously and you're both very us, good at what you do. One of us wants to do that yet. Yeah, so. nothing wrong with that. So, right. well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck this season.